Okay, just going through the test here. I'll turn my light on a bit more light. Oh, a smidge more. Okay, to go from litres to millimetres, milliliters, because there's a thousand of them, I have to multiply by a thousand to go from the bigger unit to the smaller. So I've got to move this three times because there's three zeros. So that will mean the dot will be after a zero here, which means four, six, four, zero milliliters. The next one to go from meters to centimeters, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter. So I have to multiply by a hundred to go from the bigger unit to the smaller unit. So that means I have to count the zeros there. There's two two decimal place movements, one, two, that will have to be a zero there, four, eight, eight, zero. Next one, 239 liters to milliliters. There's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So that means I need to multiply by a thousand to go from the bigger unit to the smaller. And to do that, I just need to move the decimal place one, two, three. So normally it's here, one, two, three. So there would be a zero there, zero there, zero there. One underneath each arch, if you will. So yeah, three zeros on the end, and that one's done. To go from centimeters to millimeters, because there's 10 millimeters in each centimeter, I'll have to multiply by 10, which means the decimal place moves one across, you put a zero there, and have that as your answer. Kilograms to grams, there's a thousand grams in a kilogram, so I have to multiply by a thousand to go from the bigger unit to the smaller. One, two, three, because of one, two, three. And that means there will be a zero there, nine, four, five, zero. Now this comma looks a little bit, a uh, little bit tricky, but really the comma just means um, it's separating out the thousands. That way it's easier to read rather than the number looking like all bunched up. When there's lots of numbers together, it can be a little bit hard to tell how big it is and things like this. So that's all the comma there is there for. The decimal would actually be at the end. So we're moving from grams to kilograms, this time going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. Now there's a thousand grams in a kilogram, but because now we're going from smaller to bigger, now we need to divide. So I have to move the decimal place. One, two, three. One, two, Three, so it'll actually be after the six. And I do exactly the same thing here for the next question. Divide by a thousand, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's where the comma is. Um, from millimeters to centimeters, that's only a difference of 10 which is only one decimal place. That just moves one across. Three, five, six, three point seven. Um so yeah I'll just go through the rest of them. Um it's really just the same things happening over and over. Um so this one is divided by ten as well. One across three seven six zero oh, point four liters to milliliters, which is exactly the same as question one there. It's times by a thousand, so that will be eleven. One two three uh, times by a thousand again. One two three. Uh, times by a thousand again. One, two, three. 
zero, zero. Times by a thousand again. One, two, three. Times by a thousand again. One, two, three. Times by thousand. No, 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 sorry. I'm getting too into it. Millimeters to centimeters, that's only 10. So this time round, because we're going from smaller to bigger, I now need to divide by 10 because there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So the decimal place actually needs to go one to the left. So it'll be after the zero. And same thing for the question just beneath it. Millimeters to centimeters, one to the left, 4809.6. Milliliters to liters will be, um, because we're going to a bigger unit, we're going to have to divide by a thousand because there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So three to the left, one, two, three, where the comma is. And same for this one. One, two, three. And last one is from millimeters to centimeters. The number of millimeters in a centimeter is 10. I'm going to have to divide by 10, 1, 0, decimal place moves 1 across to the left to make the number smaller, 339.8. So there we go. That's the whole first side. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions. Leave it in the comments below.